This is a video that I have wanted to film for a very long time. Since March of 2020, the Hampden Park Stadium Tour and Museum has been closed for obvious reasons, uh, first of all, for about a year. But then, um, due to the Euros, UEFA had control of all of the stadiums that they used all around Europe. And thus, uh, when stadium tours and museums and stuff could reopen post lockdowns and restrictions and stuff, Hampden was one of the last ones to do that. And I think it was last week that um, finally the Hampden Hampden Park Stadium Tour and Museum uh, reopened again. So if you want to join this Englishman in his uh, look around this amazing stadium, the home of Scottish football, then join me today and we'll have a look around. I cannot wait for this. Absolutely love Scottish football. Bring it on. And I can't believe I'm about to walk in to Hampden Park. I will um, tell you a little bit more about the other Hampden and yes, yeah, Scottish football and national team related videos in a bit, but the amount of videos that I've made here, I'm finally about to walk in the front entrance of Hampden Park. Wow, what a moment. You can tell it's a massive stadium and over 51,000 people can fit in here, but everything is so far away. Just look how far away the, uh, the pitch is from the fans. And you knew that was the case anyway when you come and watch a game here, but yeah, when you're down here, you can really uh, get a sense of how far away everything is. But yeah, despite it holding 51,000 now, I think it holds the record for the highest attended football match of all time, around 150,000 for England v Scotland back, um, yeah, I'll put the date on screen, I can't remember exactly when, um, but it also holds the record for the highest attended European Cup final as well, um, which was here in 1960 as Real Madrid won 7-3 against Eintracht Frankfurt. Again, I think that is the highest attended European Cup final, but also the most amount of goals in a European Cup final as well, with 10.
And so the tour of the stadium, wow, hang on, hang on, hang on. That right there is the Scottish Cup. And I cannot tell you how long I've been waiting to come in here inside the Scottish Football Museum. The Glasgow Merchants Charity Cup. I want to tell you all about the tour and what I'm doing and the free goodie bag we've all had, but I'm too excited about all this stuff. Hang on, I need to show you a montage of this first before I tell you anything. Watch this. So yeah, the actual tour of Hamden is now done and it was absolutely brilliant and something I'd recommend. But yeah, now I'm in the museum, like I say, which you also get um, as part of your ticket. And uh, there is just so many different exhibits here about um, the earliest times of Scottish football. So um, the first international match again, I've covered a lot of this stuff before. So any Hamden Park videos that I've made, I'll do a little related video section in the description box where I'll link my three Hamdens video, the first Hamden video, my Queen's Park videos, my two match day vlogs that I've made here at Hamden Park as well. So yeah, everything Hamden related will be in the description box below. So I don't have to bore the, uh, bore the regular viewers of all the same stories about the history of all these clubs that I love so much. And of Renton, there's stuff about Renton down here and there's old caps of Scotland, um, internationals, earliest international games and stuff like that. But there's a few things that I just want to show you in here. So. This here, the silver claret jug that you see, that right there is a Queen's Park shirt, worn in 1896, wow. But yeah, look, that is a, um, a silver claret jug. The trophy was presented for the dribbling race on Queen's Park Sports Day. Yes, a lot of the football teams that we now know today that were like born and um, sort of uh, established in the 1800s were started as like sports clubs or cricket clubs or just yeah, general sporting clubs. And um, eventually they just transitioned into being only solely football clubs. But yeah, they um, did actually start off as like, yes, yeah, sports clubs where they do like tug of wars and dribbling races and all kind of mad stuff like that as well. Oh my God, I never thought I'd be seeing this. I've covered Renton before. Again, I'll link the Renton video down below as well. So in 1888, Renton won the Scottish Cup defeat in Canvas Lang 6-1 in the final. The Scottish Cup winners and the English FA Cup winners would play each other in a sort of little playoff of those two winners, winners of each cups, and um, it was called the Championship of the World Trophy. And this is the exact trophy that Renton won to become champions of the world in 1888. They beat West Brom, I believe. Uh, yeah, they beat West Brom, um, and there's a little plaque at Renton at a small little uh, sort of um, pavilion in Renton in this little uh, playing field um, that I've been to before. And it's amazing to see the trophy and come full circle on that story. Finally, after all this time, come to seeing this stuff. Absolutely love it. This is amazing, honestly. I could spend hours in here, but I'm gonna sell it later, so I can't spend too long. One of the uh, newest um, exhibits which I'll be taking you through to in a minute is um, all to do with uh, football legends and was uh, brought to the museum here um, in time for the Euros. Like, as you can see, a lot of the Euros branding is still here and I'll be taking you round to the section in a minute. But um, Team United have teamed up with um, the Scottish Football Museum and Football Memory Scotland and the Scottish Football Para, uh, Scottish Para Football Association as well. So all these are different organisations which I'll link below. Um, they do amazing work for Para Football and Team United for uh, people with autism who want to get in involved with football and stuff like that. So all of that will be linked below. But they came together to um, bring this exhibition together where they all chose their like favourite legends. Football Memories is an official legacy project of the Euro 2020 in Glasgow. Uh, members of Football Memories groups across Scotland chose 60 European and football legends to feature on these special cards linking to the uh, Euro Championship's 60th anniversary. These players were active during 1960 to 1990 and you can see the final dream team as selected by the group members within this exhibition. So we'll be going round and having a little look at uh, the players that they've chosen but the Football Memory Scotland project
project, a partnership between Alzheimer's Scotland and the uh, Scottish Football Museum, is the oldest national football reminiscence programme in the world, supporting those with Alzheimer's and dementia, and also aiding football uh, and also aiding social inclusion. So, an absolutely amazing scheme, bringing memories back to people like this who maybe have dementia and Alzheimer's who can't remember. Uh, one of the ladies who works here was telling me how um, some of these men can't remember how they got here to start picking the players. They can't remember the journey here, such as their dementia, but um, when they start looking through the old pictures of the players, all their memories come flooding back to them. And um, what an amazing initiative. And let's go and look at some of the players that they've chosen. So some of the older legends here, we've got Paolo Maldini and Danny McCrane. Lev Yashin, one of the greatest keepers of all time. Baresi and Bobby Charlton, Michel Platini, Beckenbauer, four of Europe's finest. And Johan Cruyff, Dennis Law, of course. A Scottish hero for many. Gerd Muller and George Best. Old football images are used as uh, to act as memory triggers, supporting memory recall and stimulating conversation amongst group members. And these are some of the players that they will remember from back in the day. So let's see if we can uh, we notice any of these or recognise any of these. We've got, of course, Danny McCrane. Heard of him before, Celtic legend there. And uh, Willie Murray of our bro, I'm not too sure who he is, but cool to see our bro from there. And Hearts and Aberdeen, Adrianians. Hamilton, Killy, Morton, some of the teams here who, um, who of course, some of the people will support and some of the players that they'll remember. Willie Ormond, certainly heard of him before. It's amazing to hear what they're doing here because someone's tweeted me before about their dad having dementia and how he used to put my videos on for his dad for to bring back his memories about all the different stadiums that I've been to. And so for me to see um, the Scottish Football Museum doing this stuff as well, honestly, means a lot to me. Um, after receiving that tweet from from uh, one of my viewers, yeah, it's um, amazing seeing an amazing initiative. And again, I'll link all that information down below in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. But what amazing work they do here! And um, yeah, if you're uh, if you live in Glasgow or you're coming to visit Scotland, even if you're not from here, um, then I recommend you come here because. Honestly, not just this exhibit, there's so much to see, like, look at all this Scotland stuff relating back to the Euros, oh yes sir, I can boogie, of course, um, your second favourite uh, YouTuber that covers Scottish football, Cy Ferry, he uh, of course um, sort of gave rise to that song again, didn't he, I think it's from the 70s or the 60s or something, that song, but they sung it when uh, on Open Goal, I think, when Scotland qualified for the Euros, but here you go, look, here's some stuff about the group stage from the Euros, of course, Scotland played England, um, the only game that Scotland didn't lose in the Euros was against England, so fair play when it really mattered. Um, Croatia they played against, of course, and Czech Republic. I actually watched the Czech Republic game from the pavilion of the first Hamden. So it all comes full circle. Again, all my Hamden videos are linked below, and you can watch that one where, uh, yeah, I sat in the first Hamden and watched uh, Scotland lose, sadly, against uh, the Czech Republic. But look at these old kits. Amazing to see. Honestly, there's just too much to show you in here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to cover it all. I hope the montages and me just like taking you through it doesn't bore you too much. And I try and get as much in as possible, but honestly, I'm so enthusiastic about Scottish football. People don't give it the credit it deserves. It's so good, so historic, and there's just so much to know about it. But look, even uh, the, I'm sure you've seen Zidane's goal in the uh, Champions League final in 2002. That was, of course, right here inside Hamden Park as well. And uh, look, here's the program from that game and the football that was used. Um, when Real Madrid defeated Bayern Leverkusen. Uh, that is the ball that Zinedine Zidane scored one of the greatest Champions League final goals of all time with. That, that is the actual ball right there. Sevilla have won the uh, the UEFA Cup here. I think they're pre-Europa League. It was the UEFA Cup. They won that here. There's been a lot of European finals here. There's some football boots of James McFadden loaned to the museum by James McFadden. Loaned to them. I, I don't know if, he'd, uh, if he wants them back at some point. But there's loads of stuff here, like a Lithuania shirt from when they played Scotland, a Macedonia shirt from when they played Scotland, a Netherlands shirt from when they played Scotland. What is this we've got here? A signed futsal ball, uh, used at the UEFA Futsal Championships in Sweden. Honestly, there is too much to see. Who's, what have we got here? Caps. We've got, um, yeah, ladies who have played in the ladies team who have over 100 caps. These are their special 100 caps at Rachel Corsi and Hayley Lauder and Leanne Ross, all players who have won 
hundreds of caps for Scotland. And here we go, look, there's stuff about Adrianians. There's uh, stuff here about Celtic and Rangers getting to their European uh, UEFA Cup finals. That was the one in uh, Manchester where um, Rangers took loads of fans down, didn't they? Lost against Zenit, sadly. And take it, this is the one. Yeah, Stylian Petrov worn the number 19 shirt in the 2001-2002 Champions League against Ajax. That is a Champions League shirt worn. As you can see, match worn by Petrov. How much is that worth? And what do we have here? An Aberdeen shirt worn by Lee Miller during their 2007-8 UEFA Cup campaign. Rangers programme, Seville programme. Yeah, against uh, Celtic against uh, Porto and Rangers against Zenit. Again, two, uh, two UEFA Cup finals that the old firm teams got to within about five or six years of each other. Sadly, neither of them won it. What a great thing that would have been for Scottish football for them to win it. More on the women's game here, which is uh, so well celebrated in Scotland, of course. I was at the um, Faroe Islands ladies game the other day. And a big shout out to everyone's favourite um, co-commentator, Ali McCoy. Rangers all-time record goal scorer with 355 goals in all comps. McCoy won the Golden Boot as top scorer in Europe in two successive seasons in 91-92 and 92-93. He also had a lengthy international career, winning 61 caps for Scotland and scoring 19 goals. And that is his go European Golden Boot that he won in 92-93. Again, I'm so sorry if I'm boring you with all this stuff, but I've been wanting to come in here for so long and to see it all right now is tremendous. There's even more around here. Look at that, that is uh, from when Dundee played Milan in the European Cup semi-final. Yes, for those of you who don't know, Dundee United had a fantastic, have a fantastic history in Europe, but so did Dundee FC. Dundee got to the semi-final of the European Cup, and I think it was, was it Bill Shankly's brother, Bob Shankly, I believe, who, um, who took them to that? So, you know, people don't give Scottish teams the credit because of how long ago they achieved all these things. You've got Dundee and Dundee United who have done so well in Europe. I think they both reached the European Cup semi, of which Dundee United were robbed um, by, I think, Roma, who had paid the referee or something that's come out since and of course Aberdeen have got two UEFA titles Celtic and Rangers both have one each of course Celtic were the first British European champions for goodness sake so yeah just all this stuff I mean pinching myself look at this there's even a load of stuff about the junior game of uh and there is Sean Connery I think he's I can't remember the club now but someone put it in the comment section below I've had requests from a few people to go to Sean Connery's old club look Meadow Park Irvin I've been there Made a vlog there, look, all these different junior things. So, again, to the regular viewers, I'm sorry I'm um, telling you this again, but junior football is basically non-league football. It doesn't really quite exist anymore, but it used to be completely separate from the Scottish professional leagues, but it is now a part of it, and these teams can get promoted now. But, yeah, look at this. We've got uh, all these teams. I wonder if I can recognise any of them, any of these junior teams that have won the Junior Cup. The Junior Cup used to be massive, and the final used to be played at Hampden Park. It has, uh, in recent years, been played at Kilmarnock and Hamilton, and um, I think Livingston as well, and places like that. But, yeah, it used to be uh, held here at Hampden. It used to get, I think, 50, 60,000 people. Winton Park or Drossen. I've been to our Drossen Winton Rovers. Come on, let's see it. Let's see some of our Drossen Winton Rovers highlights. Here we are, Victoria Park Irving. Oh, I've just, uh, just broken one of the exhibits. They won't be inviting me back. But, yeah, Victoria Park Irving. Orkin, look. Beechwood Park, Orkin, look, Talbot. One of the uh, most successful teams in world football. The amount of trophies that they've won. This is honestly... What a place, you've got to come and do this tour. And we have the Scottish Hall of Fame. I wonder uh, what names we have here. Oh, Davy Cooper, the late, great Davy Cooper. I know how much people love him. And Walter Smith, King Kenny, Joe Jordan, started off at Blantyre Vic, Slim Jim Baxter, Bertie Old, the Lisbon Lions. Now, it isn't um, every tour that you get 
Hang on, let me just uh, pop that up a little bit. Now, it's not on every tour that you get a free goodie bag um, with a load of stuff. I've not even really had a chance to look through it yet, um, but it looks like I've got programs and a little pin badge and a pen and a t-shirt and stuff like that, but I will do a Instagram post right now where um, it will be on screen right now. Like I said, I've not looked through it just yet, but I will um, be giving some of the stuff away. So yeah, if you want to win that stuff, then follow me on Instagram, like the post and tag one friend. Um, I'll do a pinned comment to that post as well. So yeah, if you want to win that stuff, go follow me, pinned comment, uh, like the post and tag one mate. Cheers. Genuinely, that is one of the best tours I've ever done. Like I say, not everywhere gives you something to take away completely for free. It's some stuff they've got left over from the Euros, from the Euros. But it's still a really, that was my foot by the way. Um, but it's still a really nice touch for them to um, to give it away. And I'm in the cafe right now, which is now open, I think five days a week or something like that, that you can come into, even if you're not doing the tour. So really nice little quiet cafe here. Inside Hamden Park, if you want to come for a coffee, like I've just got my cappuccino here, um, then you can come and do that as well. But highly recommend the tours, you guys, again, all of the links will be below for the charity stuff that I spoke to you about when I was in the museum. Um, this is something I've wanted to do for so long and um, to come and cover and have a look at the trophies and um, the teams like Renton and Vale of Leven and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, absolutely unbelievable to see those old trophies and some of the shirts that they have in there, all the old firm stuff, all the stuff about Celtics, Lisbon Lions, all the Scottish Hall of Fame. I just didn't even really have the time to take you through it all, but yeah, absolutely loved it. Please do remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. Um, I would highly, highly recommend this tour one of the best I've ever done. Thank you so much for watching. I'll leave some Hamden videos on screen. Again, I'll link all my Hamden videos below, um, much like with everything else I've spoken to you about. All of that stuff is below, but I'll leave two on screen right now, two of my favourites, so please do check them out. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to sit here and enjoy my nice cappuccino. Thank you so much, and goodbye.